guys welcome back to my channel oh my god it's been a minute um yeah so I'm so first of all I'm super excited to do this video second of all holy crap it's been so long um and I just wanted to apologize for everybody for that I know I got a couple of messages saying where are you where have you been we missed you um and that just like really meant a lot to me and kind of gave me like the kick in the butt to, to make this for you guys today I got into a really bad car accident in case if you guys were wondering like what the hell happened to to her so yeah I got into a really bad accident a few months ago and I couldn't make any videos or post anything online at all whatsoever I it, it sucked <laughs> it really did um, I messed up I had like a contusion and um, my knee got uh, all messed up and my hip got all messed up and it's been a ride and of course we've been renovating my husband's been renovating the house that we just moved into and ah, it's been crazy but things are much better now and so I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who's reached out and you know asked me how I was doing and where I've been and it really meant a lot to me it really did but holy crap guys it's fall well it's September but here in New England it doesn't seem like fall is gonna be happening anytime soon it's like 98 degrees right now outside and I don't care I still had my pumpkin spice coffee this morning because well reason being that's probably why I'm if you if you notice like I'm super hyper right now but I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I will have my iced pumpkin spice coffee because I want it to be autumn right now. I am tired of 98% humidity with 98 degree weather. So, Mother Nature, please, please, please. So, um, anyway, <laughs> pushing that out of the way, um, I did want to. Um, create this haul for you guys. I have like a little witchy haul of the things that I've kind of accumulated over the past couple of months. It wasn't something that I went out and just bought all in one shot. Um, I haven't, it actually, I actually quite enjoyed um, this collection of items that I got because normally like the last witchy haul I did I was out in Salem which I love. I love Salem. But because of my accident and everything else I um, wasn't able to travel really far and uh, and Salem is a little while away from where I live and so it gave me the opportunity to really go around the community and local shops that I have here in the area and and you know really interact with them and and talk to them and see what they had and see what the shop was all about there's actually been a couple of new ones that I've opened up around my area so I was like Whoa, ha, 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 what is this now so I'm excited to, to show show some of it to you guys um, don't mind me I'm just kind of like chilling at home um, I there's my, <laughs> this is my pumpkin spice coffee and I'm just gonna be sipping on ice right now and I'm not a coffee drinker. I really am not. I, I like tea. I drink a lot of tea, um, hot water and lemon. But for some reason, I don't know why, but today I was just like, it's a coffee kind of day. I dig it. So, without further ado, um, <laughs> in the first one you're going to be like, Melinda, really? But I was at Target and my husband and I were looking for things to decorate the house. Um, this year for Halloween it's our first time having a home and we really wanted to kind of like go all the way so even though this might be a little kitschy and but ugh, my husband and I are such dorks and when I saw it, I was like this is the coolest thing ever um, but it, at Target and oh my gosh it like sold out so quick I was so surprised because I went back to try to get one for my sister and they didn't have it but it's the Harry Potter sorting hat that talks how cool is this so we decided it would be super cute to have like the kids in our neighborhood come over and try the sorting hat on to see what um, house they would be in 
but basically he already comes like with batteries and everything which is awesome and there's like a little button here and I'm actually pretty surprised because it's actually a really I thought it would be like oh it's gonna be like cheap made and it's not gonna like really look like it but it's actually pretty cool so I'm actually gonna press the button so you guys can check it out and his mouth moves too so it's pretty cool so Which, funny enough, is the house that he picked me to be in. So every time I've held this hat, I've always gotten Ravenclaw. And my husband, when he had it on, he had... See, I wish... Like, I wanted to put it on while his mouth was going, but I knew it would look, look like super weird on camera. Well, yeah. The only downfall I would say about this is that, like, there's this plastic rim. Oh, and now my hair's all messed up. There's this, like... <laughs> whatever. There's, like, this plastic rim that's like on the inside of the hat and it says on the box that one size fits all but that's not true um like it's supposed to be a universal hat like adults and kids are able to wear it but this brim not this but like the inside of it it's it makes it really difficult for it to stay on so you almost kind of have to like balance it on your head if it was a kid they would have no problem but for an adult you're probably going to have to look like I finally have it on now after all that finagling um probably yeah, and my hair's all messed up again um uh, yeah so that's like really the only downfall about it so when my husband had it on he had Gryffindor because he's a cool kid and I had Ravenclaw every time every time it's so weird like every time he has it on it's Gryffindor every time I have it on it's Ravenclaw so I guess it's pretty legit so anyway this was 24 bucks at Target if you happen to find it grab it um, it's a really cool little authentic Harry Potter piece um, the second place I actually went to was um, a little shop that I found near my area called the silver willow and I went in there and I really wasn't going in there to find anything in particularly I just went in to you know browse around see what they had and all that jazz guys I left with three items and three badass items the first thing I got was this book which I really fell in love with I read a chapter on it yesterday the first chapter yesterday and I really really find this very very interesting um, it's called by Oak Ash and Thorn by DJ Conway and it's but uh, it's about a modern Celtic shamanism like look at that cover I mean you got the horn god right there it's so badass and there's like a horned serpent and like oh god it's so cool He's like just in the middle of the wilderness, just chilling out with his like two, four, six, eight pack abs. Yeah, I had to count that. <laughs> um, but it's really interesting. Um, I'll read what it's about. Um, basically, it's on Celtic shamanism, and it's it's broken up into three parts: the oak being the first part, the second part being ash, and the third part being thorn. Um, so I'll actually read to you what it has on the inside cover here. Um, part one is the appeal of Celtic shamanism as opposed to other types of shamanism. What is a shaman? Why? Etc. Etc. Um, it also talks about ethics, personal shamanism test, shamanic journaling, correction of the body's light centers, and realigning energies and meditation. Part two, it, it talks about the three well, realms of the Celtic other worlds. Um, it talks about Celtic shamanic tools, um, uh, Celtic mythology, the use of the labyrinth in meditation, which I thought was so freaking badass. Um, trance, uh, it talks about um, vision quests and how to retrieve soul parts and going deeper into your meditational practice. And part three is about, um, it talks about the Ogham alphabet, the importance of trees, 
um, how to use the elements in Celtic magic in other worlds, chord magic, um, shaman, uh, various shamanic healing methods, uh, Celtic shape shifting and how to use it. Which I honestly kind of want to skip the whole thing and just get to that part. <laughs> but I'm sure you have to read the, the rest of the book for it to make sense. But anyway, it sounds pretty cool. Um, shamanic belief in connection between humans, all creatures in the world, how shamanic actions change people in the world, and how shamanism enhances the spiritual body of the practicing shaman in meditation. So, super cool book. I what's funny is that I the other shops that I've been to, this was the only one on the shelf of this particular one that I went to. But the other ones that I also traveled to couldn't find this anywhere not even at Barnes and Noble wasn't on the shelf so I'm I don't know I I was drawn to this when I picked it up if you guys uh, happen to find it on Amazon or if it is at your local pagan shop in your community pick it up it's really good it's very interesting like I said I read the uh, very first chapter and I was just sucked right in so if this is uh, a topic that you're interested in pick it up it's only $18. Not bad. Okay, so, uh, second thing that I got while I was there. Oh, guys, you know how I'm in for a good tarot deck. You know how I am. I see a tarot deck, I just buy it. So, especially if it's one that just, like, speaks to me. So I found this one, and yes, I'm going closer to the camera because that's how excited I am. It's called the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck by Matt Hughes. <gasps> Look how pretty. I did rip the plastic off the front, but I did not open the plastic on the cards inside. So, yes. I wanted to like hold in my excitement for you guys because I know it's been a while since I've seen you. So I'm like, let's share this together. Um, anyway, yeah, I told you super hyper. This is what coffee does to me. Anyway, <laughs> I'll read to you what uh, is on the back. And when I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, is the tarot cards illuminated? Like. Are they gold gilded, like, on the deck, on the cards itself? And they are, but I'm not going to show you until you see the next video. But this is what I'll show you for now, sneak peek. So this is the Fool. How cool is that? And all that is, like, shiny gold. So pretty! So freaking pretty! Okay. Anyway, sorry about the light, you guys. It's kind of going off and on. It's because I have uh, two windows right here. And like I said, it's like really, really hot here in New England today. So anyway, moving on because I got a lot of stuff to show you. The last thing I got while I was there it was this. This is like the Kutra Shaw. Or the shoot. I don't know how to say it, but you know what I mean. I got a spirit board, guys. Come on. You know, it's September. Samhain is almost here. How could you not? My very first spirit board, too. I've never had one. I don't know why. But yeah, and it says on the bottom. I love how on the bottom here it says use with caution. But, you know, I can see why they do that. There are a lot of movies based on this stuff. So anyway, this is the back. And part of the instruction says that when you do use it to light a white candle, so you only attract um, positive energy. But I'll pull it out for you guys to see. This one was a little pricey. I mean, like, I could have gone... I could have gotten a better price for one. Like, if I ordered it online or something like that. But, you know, I wanted to support the local shop and... Be a good patron. Plus, I never really buy... Like, I never really stopped in there before, so... It was kind of interesting to see. I, oh, my God. I don't know about you guys. Please comment below, but tell me not, when you do go into like a pagan shop or like a new age shop or how, whatever you want to call it, when you go into a shop, a gift, like, you know what I mean? And you just buy something, be it a book or a spirit board, whatever, that you can like smell the store still. Oh, I love that. Sorry, I just had to share that with you. But yeah, yeah, I can 
I can still smell the store. It's so great. But it's pretty cool. Check it out. I love the, the, the Made in China sticker in the back. <laughs> but it's like um, a fabric material, which is, it, which is nice. I like how on the board it still says use with caution. That's pretty interesting. And it's like a perfect square. It's not like a rectangle, which also makes it different. You know, I've never seen one like this before. And this is the planchette. It doesn't have like the little legs that some of them normally do, but it does have this really cool design. Check that out. And again, it's that same like textured fabric material, which is pretty cool. I might play with it tonight. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that was at the Silver Willow. So <sighs> Google them if they're near you. Uh, this is in North America, in the United States, for all those international people out there. But if it's near you, you should definitely check it out. So I'm just going to er, quickly just put this away. Second place that I went to, funny enough, was a place called <laughs> Savers. Um, and I only did pick up one thing there at the time, and it was because I'm old school and still have a VHS player. The Craft on VHS, yes, because I'm old school and it was only a dollar. So how could you say no to that? I wonder if it says the Please Be Kind Rewind. Oh no, it doesn't. It just says The Craft. But anyway, I was super stoked about this. I'm gonna be watching this pretty soon. For your entertainment witchy goodness, I got The Craft. If you haven't watched it, it's a great film that came out in like, what, 1990? Oh my god, when did this come out? I love how on the bottom it says, it's Carrie meets Clueless. Where'd they get Clueless from? It's nothing like Clueless. This came out in 1996, holy crap. But this is what I got there, and it was only five dollars. Check this out, it's so pretty. It's like a huge, like, astrological tapestry and the fabric is actually really thick and good like you can feel it it's not that like flimsy tapestry fabric it's like legit fabric and look how pretty it is it's so pretty and I love the color because I've never seen a color like this before so anyway yeah I got this and it's huge this is huge I mean I can use this as like a table cover if I wanted to or maybe like an altar cover but look at how pretty that Sun is in the middle I've never seen it like that. It's so cool. Um, check online to see if they have it, if you're interested in getting one. They probably do. Or call a store. Because I wouldn't see why they still wouldn't have it. Because, you know, it is going into to the fall season. So they probably should have. This was the last one that I got that was in my area. In that particular store. But really, really nice. I really, really, I thought this was like a steal. I'm like, five bucks for this? Say what? Anyway, throwing that up there. Fourth place that I went to was also another local shop. Um, Five Below is more of like, it's, I think it's franchised. Obviously Target's franchised. The Silver Willow isn't. That's a mom and pop shop. This is another mom and pop shop. Um, it's called the Thirsty Crow. And it's run by a lovely lady. First thing that I got there was this badass dragon I, I think this is a floating candle but look how cool this is I, I've obviously I'm never gonna like this but it's dra a dragon and he's got his claws and there's like a couple of skulls down here and it's just so cool and it's got like this old school it's called stone design candle by import master Inc it's got like the old school uh, sticker on the back but how cool is that egg shaped with a dragon on it on some skulls that doesn't say badass I don't know what does anyway really like this it doesn't smell like anything though it's scentless which is I guess it's kind of nice especially if you're keeping it as just like a decor piece you know what I mean if it smelled nice then you'd be more tempted to light it um a few other she does sell jewelry there too the person the girl the woman who runs it and I got this look how cute that is I like chunky jewelry so Anyway, I got that. Not that. I don't know if it's really witchy, but I'm like, hmm, yeah, jewelry. Um, 
I also got a bunch, I don't know why, I've been really into um, scents lately. I got a whole bunch of um, incense from her. And you know what? I'm... Oh. Oh shit, that necklace came with earrings. I didn't even know that. I, still, I literally still have the bag. I haven't even taken things out of the bag yet. Like, I'm <laughs> really bad. Look how cute these earrings are, though. Aww. I kind of feel bad that that's been, that was like at the bottom of the bag and I can't even see it. All right, anyway. Uh, like I said, I've been really into scents lately. And I saw these little boxes there. And honestly, I fell in love with them with the boxes. I didn't even know that there was incense inside the boxes. But, oh, it smells so good. And look how cool the box is. This one's lemongrass. Tell me not you would use that box as a, like a keepsake or something. So there's Zodiac incense. And on the back, it tells you a little bit more about what Z Zodiac you fall under. This one's Virgo. Lemongrass scent smells so good. This one is um, cedar wood and it's Scorpio. Super cool box again. Little description in the back. This one's called Night Queen. It's a very like earthy scent, like earthy musky scent. And it's Gemini. Super cool, right? And then this one was Leo. And no, no, I didn't even get my own zodiacs, and I'm a Cancer. But I'm like, <laughs> my Cancer smelled like crap. I'm like, I'm not getting that one. I'm gonna want to go to one that smells. This one's Leo. Again, super cool box. So anyway, that's the stuff that I got from her. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I got two more things. Um, she had this like little, oh, these suit like like antique. Um. And they were made in Italy, these little antique frames with like little paintings in them. I don't know if it's a painting or a print, but how cool is that? I thought to myself, um, I don't know whether or not if I'm going to take the print out and make it as like a little handheld mirror, but how freaking cute is that? How awesome is this, right? I've never come across anything like this before. And you can hang it. And I, she gave me two. It was two for five. It's just like, yeah. So that's the image on this one. Two horseback riders. I don't know what's on the top though. It looks like, oh, it, it's just some, uh, like a natural stone bridge. But like, so cool, right? Super cool. I really love this. This is my favorite, actually. Anyway, moving on. Because we got more to show you. Dun, 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 dun. And the last place, but not least, was a badass place that just opened up in my town. Well, not my town, but, you know. Close by. Um, is uh, the store called Sanctum Folklori Folklorica. Super cool. It really is like a little shop from Salem. If you've ever been to like the Coven's Cottage or um, Coven's Cottage is, to me is kind of like the coolest one. Uh, or um, what's the other one? Oh crap. Crowhaven Corner. It's like if Coven's Cottage and Crowhaven Corner had a baby it would be Sanctum Folklorica. It's a super cool shop. You walk in there, it's like all black inside, like from ceiling to floor, all black with like oh, these like witches balls coming from the ceiling. They sell um, butter beer. I'm like, what? What? I was like super stoked out. Um, anyway, I got some pretty cool stuff there. Um, the first one being this really cool and I haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet it's the flower of Jericho now for those of you who don't know um, the flower of Jericho is also called the resurrection flower so even though this looks like it's dead and all that jazz if I put this in water um, this plant will actually come back to life uh, like well not come back to life because it's 
alive still but it will start to open up and bloom um, I can't remember because I haven't had this in so long and the last one that I and these are actually pretty hard to for me at least where I am it's hard to come by um, it could be different from where you know wherever you are but the last one that I had I gave away to um, my professor when I was going to university and he was super into he was super into shamanism and so I gave I gave him mine because he, when he knew that I had one he thought it was super cool and I was just like I want to get a good grade so I'm gonna give this to you <laughs> no but I really just wanted to give it to him but anyway um so yeah when I found out she had it in stock I was like oh my gosh I have to get this oh I'm sorry I have a little itch here guys um I have to get it, so I'm super excited um I am I know it's been a while since I posted a video but I do want to start like an herb and I know I think I've mentioned this before in another video I do want to start like an herbal series I don't know where we kind of like I don't know, make some tinctures and show you some stuffs um so maybe for that that video for that series I'll talk a little bit more about the Jericho flower and maybe I can put it in water and you can see but I'm not sure if it's the water or if it's like the tip of the this plant it turns red it's really really cool moving on the second thing I got there was this cool little journal. Um, I did want to get another one. It was lighter. Like it was like a light leather. It almost looked like a beige. And I literally picked it up and put it back down. And someone came from behind me and like took both of the ones that I was looking at. That was like the light color. So I found this one instead. And I was like shame on me for not holding on to it and blah 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 but anyway this one is just as cute um it's got like this little it's got like a, almost like a floral design on the front and it wasn't that bad I really just wanted something small compact that I can carry carry with me the other one if that I had that I got in Salem if you haven't seen the video I'll post a link below to the last witchy haul but the bigger one that I got while I was in Salem that one I really use for special things that I'm writing and I just really wanted something that I could just take with me and just quickly journal so that way I could transfer to the to the larger one um, so I, I I brought I got this one and check out the back and this was only what $14.95 so for $14 it being like actual nicely bound look at the, the spine here and I, I think she said she gets it from like a local handmade um, book local handmade book maker uh, and then the, the pages inside which are just like plain plain cotton paper which is really nice it's like a nice thick like this is one page like it's a nice thick paper like you can feel how thick it is it's really nice especially if you want to do some like watercolor work or um, any drawing or painting like quick little paintings sketches in here it'll be really really nice Anyway, I'm excited by this. It was really cute and small, and I really just wanted something. And it came, comes with this little string, which I think is even cuter. The other ones had, like, little latches and stuff, so it was pretty, you know? Check out that back and that front. It's different, you know? I liked it. So I got that. And, of course, I had to get another deck. I saw this one, and I'm like, this one's pretty cool. And I've never seen this one before. I was like really really drawn to it it's called the Oracle of mystical moments this one I shall share with you guys so I was there which was really funny because she opened not that long ago um, the this shop owner and so she ordered this deck and it, literally at checkout she was like can you do me a favor and I was like yeah sure what do you want she's like can you just crack open that deck for me because I really want to take a look inside and I was like kind of speechless because I'm like oh cool yeah like sure I'll show you you know I want to see it too you know so let's share this moment together uh, and I've never had a shop owner ask me that before so I was like yeah let's take a look so I did crack this open with her and we did take a look at it together and we were both actually really really speechless at how pretty this deck is so I'm gonna do a quick little thing so you guys can check it out so this is the little book that it comes with uh, the Oracle of mystical moments and this is by Katrine Wellstein. 
again I don't know too much about it it's by US games um, the box is really really sturdy it's really really pretty um, again it, this was like such a spur of the moment I didn't I haven't even had a ch chance to even look at who illustrated it or anything like that um, this is like my first time actually looking through this so I just wanted to share this with you guys super quickly um, here we go pulling the, the cards out now so this is the back look how nice and pretty that is right chin, chin, chin. I can see this definitely being like a deck in the winter time to use it's very much very much so and the size I would have to say the first thing that intrigued me by this deck was the, the the size of the the, the 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 size of the actual cards it's a lot more thinner and vertical um, I don't know if you guys kind of see normally the decks that I've worked with are a little, like a little wider uh, but just as tall but this one's a little bit more on the slim side they are all borderless and they do have like a little description on the bottom this one's abundance is that right no sorry why abracadabra well I don't know why that said abundance uh, <laughs> abracadabra and again this is an oracle deck it reminded me a lot of the Colette Baron Reed, um, like the good tarot um, type of style. See, it's so cool. I'll, I'll flip through some of the cool, like this one's really pretty. This one's called Change of Seasons. This is a badass deck, guys. I'm so happy I found this. And I haven't... But that's what I'm saying. That's what's like the awesome thing about going into your local shop because sometimes there's things that you really can't find anywhere else. Like I've bought decks on Amazon before and I've, you know, snooped through Barnes and Noble and yeah, I've gone to Salem to check some stuff out, but like a lot of them have a lot more of like the mass produced decks. So to find something like this, I really haven't seen this anywhere else. So to find like a little gem like this was really, really cool. I mean, this one's called Night Ride and it's just like a owl couple on an elephant. So cool. Look how pretty this one is, my dear friend. Sorry, I get my fat fingers out of the way. Ugh, just so cool. So, so cool. And again, I'm just going to flip through some so you can see. This one's really pretty. To the moon and back. So awesome. I haven't had a chance to work with it yet. Like I said, I the last time I opened this was when I was at the store. So when I was like sharing this with her. But it's very artistic. It's, I don't know, it's got like this really weird... Uh, I don't know. Like, oh, this one's my favorite one. It's called Oh Sunny Day. It's a woman who's on a mushroom with a mushroom umbrella with two little ladybugs crawling up the mushroom. How freaking cool is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This one's really pretty. No rain today. Yeah, I really... It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Let me see how, ma how many... How many... 52. There's 52 cards. A pretty thick card stock. I have to say. I'm impressed. I really am. Um, I have to give this one, like... Even though I haven't worked with it yet, just aesthetically, um, the imagery, the quality, the color, um, like the print quality... The fact that it's borderless, even the strange size of the actual format of the card, um, I just love it. It's just so, it just draws me right in. It's just so pretty. And it's got like this art, it's very artistic vibe. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But it's cool. You know? It's different. That's what I like about it. This reminds me of Alice in Wonderlands. You know the 
the the white rose scene with the daffodils and all that. I don't know why, but this card reminds me of it. It's called Queen Bee, though. Really cool. Which, actually, uh, I do have to tell you guys. It's official. I think. No, it's not I think. It's official. I'm going to be getting myself my very first tattoo I know I'm kind of afraid um, I know I finally found the shop and artist that I want to do it and funny enough they're in Salem so I want to get my very first tattoo done by this particular shop and I know it's gonna take a while for me to get there because um, they're book they book up really really fast and really really far into the season but I'm, kind of, I'm excited and I'm scared. But funny enough, like I used to work at a tattoo parlor, so I'm like, I don't know why, but you know, I just want to show you guys some of these images while I'm talking about this. Look how cool this one is. This one's called Bloom. And that's right. It's like I want to show you guys all the cool ones, but every single one of them are like awesome. Sleeping Beauty's Dream. <laughs> it's just badass. Very fantastical. Very like, you know. dream like surreal surreal fantasy it's just so cool it's such a cool deck definitely recommend it definitely 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 recommend it this one's my favorite uh, I like this one too it's called my under my umbrella like come on <laughs> who gets to ride a giant pink parrot oh tiny triumphs really really cool really really cool mm -hmm. so again this is the oracle of mystical moments ta, ta, ta. so if you guys have a chance to find this um, at a shop definitely check it out thank you so much guys remember stay tuned for my next video for the unboxing of the ethereal visions deck boop, 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 boop. and um, stay safe post below and I look forward to seeing you at my next video. Bye! And if you're in New England, God, please stay cool. <laughs>